Greetings dear friends this is your personal english coach professor DC and in this video we will be understanding the future continuous tense Let me walk you through the agenda of my video explanation The agenda of this video explanation is pretty simple and straightforward it consists of five main topics I'll start off explaining the usage and then the definition of the future continuous tense we will see a formula that you should be using for all those sentences which are in the future continuous tense then i will talk about four scenarios in which only and only the future continuous tense should be used to explain or demonstrate those scenarios and for each scenarios I will give you lots and lots of examples so that you have some mastery over using the future continuous tense. And finally, I will summarize this topic for your quick revision. So, are you ready? Let's get started. You might be wondering, professor, when should I use the future continuous tense? So, friends, this tense is used for action or events that will be unfinished at certain time in future or for any time in future if the time that it will finish is not fixed if it is uncertain as to when the event or incident or action will finish you use this tense so that is the first usage second This tense is used for things that will happen in the normal course of events rather than being a part of your plans and intentions. The actions will unfold naturally. The actions will be unplanned or unintended and they will happen in future of course. And finally, what does this tense express? it expresses future actions having an ongoing nature that is expected to start in future and continue for a period of time in future so if you can imagine an action which will start in future and which will continue for some time so that brings us to a very simplified definition What is the definition of a future continuous tense? A tense used to express an ongoing or continued action which will occur at some time in future. So, if there is an action which is continuing for some time in the future, you have to use the future continuous tense and its rules to describe or demonstrate that situation. All right, fair enough. you have understood the usage you have understood the definition i hope so but i want to make this concept even more clearer to you by an analogy if you have seen my earlier videos you would be aware that i use a diagram i have used the diagram in order to explain a particular tense and similarly here too i have used a diagram or an analogy to explain the future continuous tense and this is what it looks like it's very self explanatory the vertical blue line indicates the present time or the current situation and the red colored dot or red colored ball indicates action and from the figure you can easily say that there is an action even occurrence or incidents and it is being continued for some time in the future so in your life if there is such a situation and you want to describe it in english make the use of future continuous tense but you would be wondering professor how do i use the future continuous tense is there a formula of the sentences yes my dear friend there is a formula so let me ask you one question before we move on what is the basic sentence structure in english language is s plus v plus o subject verb and object but here in future continuous tense this will be the formula 
subject plus will or be going to be form plus the base verb plus ing plus object once again s plus will or be going to be form plus v1 plus ing plus object now in my earlier videos i have talked about the different verb forms there are three types of verb forms v1 v2 v3 v1 is the base verb v2 is the past tense of the base verb and v3 is the past participle and depending on the situation you use these verb forms all right so by now i assume that this formula is also clear to you and i hope you have remembered this formula for its usage in this tense now you must be thinking or you must be wondering professor which are the scenarios in what situations should i use the future continuous tense using this formula let me drive you through it scenario number 1 talks about the interrupted actions in future so let me give you the very first example and i hope i'll be able to explain the scenario and the usage of this tense by this example the example says i will be watching tv when she arrives tonight so first of all two events are going to happen in future event number 1 is me watching the tv and event number 2 is her arrival all right and scenario number 1 is actions being interrupted so assume yourself watching tv and assume someone else's arrival so your watching tv is being interrupted isn't it so if you want to tell someone what you would be doing when she arrives you'll be using the formula of future continuous tense i'll be watching my tv when she arrives tonight isn't it now friends let me also give you another example i am going to be staying at the madison hotel if anything happens again two events are going to unfold that two in future me staying at the madison hotel and anything happening two events so what is the interruption here the interruption is of something happening and what is the stagnant action staying in the hotel so you remember this that if there is an ongoing action which will be interrupted and all of these things are going to happen in future you use the future continuous tense and the rules to explain the situations all right let me bombard you with lots and lots of examples so that you have some mastery over using the tense example number 3 he will be studying at the library tonight so he will not see mary when she arrives i will be making dinner when he arrives tonight i will be waiting for you when your bus arrives I guess you will be feeling thirsty after working in the sun. You will be missing the sunshine. She will be sleeping when you telephone her. She will be sleeping when you telephone her. Usually we say when you call her. This is a traditional English. We will be having dinner when the film starts. Take your umbrella. It will be raining when you return. friends are you able to grasp the concept of future continuous tense by looking at these examples if so then congratulations you are through the scenario number 1 let's see the second scenario which is the second scenario or second situation where the use of future continuous tense becomes a mandate it is specific times as interruption in future now this is similar to scenario number 1 but in the examples that you see in the scenario number 2 will have some time reference and you know what those time references will act as interruptions let's see some examples 
night at 6 p.m. I am going to be eating dinner. Okay, I think I have repeated going to be. So, this is the sentence. Tonight at 6 p.m. I am going to be eating dinner. They will be dancing all night long. We will be working quite closely. Tonight, you can say. At midnight, we will be sleeping. Tomorrow, at 3 o'clock, Josh will be cooking. The Moscow Circus will be performing in Stockholm for the special children. We will be going to the gym after work. At 5 a.m. tomorrow, they will be departing to Alaska. So here you see the time reference is given. 5 a.m. You can say that this is a kind of interruption or you can say a stimuli that will trigger some event. At 5 a.m. tomorrow, they will be departing to Alaska. I will be returning home next week, Thursday. It will be raining entire week. I will be working today in the restaurant. So please take care of the kids. This time next week we will be sitting at the beach. So not necessarily we should use the word interruption but you can say triggers. If certain actions are going to be triggered at certain time in future, yes you use the future continuous tense but these examples are not enough let me give you some more examples we are talking about scenario number two time triggers for action in future at nine I will be watching the news tonight they will be or we will be cramming up for our English test they will not be playing all afternoon I will not be playing all afternoon. He will be working all day. They will be shopping all afternoon. I will be working at the office tonight. We will be flying over the Atlantic Ocean for three hours. Apologize my spelling mistake here. It's ocean. At midnight tonight, we will be still driving through the desert. She will be playing tennis until she gets tired. I will be playing tennis at 10 a.m. tomorrow. They won't be watching TV at 9 p.m. tonight. Dear friends, are you able to see how certain times trigger certain actions? And are you also able to see that all of these are happening in future there is an action which is continued for some time and in all these examples the action is going to be triggered at certain times let's see some more examples so that you can master this tense what will you be doing when I arrive I will be driving during rush hour he will not be taking the bus they will be using the cottage that weekend. Nigel won't be coming to the picnic. Where will you be sleeping? We will be watching the news at 10 p.m. tonight. I will try my best to spot you. What will you be wearing? Susan will be waiting for the bus 10 more minutes. Please don't come at 9 o'clock. She'll be sleeping at that time. At noon tomorrow, I will be relaxing on the beach somewhere. Sorry, I can't wait. I'll be taking my daughter to work at that time. Don't forget your snow pants. It will be snowing by the time you get to the school. Tom will be attending the conference next month. This is good. Now friends, I am giving you lots and lots of examples for this scenario. Why? Because in most cases, the future continuous tense is used with a time reference. So, let me give you 
10 more examples and then we will switch to the scenario number 3. Scenario number 2. Time triggers for actions in future. Or you can say specific times as interruption in the future. Tonight at 11 p.m. we will be dancing at the party. They will be studying until 5 o'clock. I will be seeing Jim at the conference. When he is in Australia, he will be staying with his friends. I will be eating with Jane this evening so that I can tell her about the plan. In an hour, I will still be ironing my clothes. Consider the weather. Considering the weather, I think you will be suffering from cold again tomorrow. Next year, will she be wearing a size 6? Won't stock prices still be falling in the morning? Unfortunately, the sea levels will still be rising in 20 years. Alright friends, enough and more examples for scenario number 2. Shall we now talk about scenario number 3? Alright, let's get started. Scenario number 3 is about parallel actions in the future. So, you might be thinking, parallel actions? What is that? Now, friends, it is fairly possible that two actions get started at the same time, two actions trigger at the same time, and they continue for a certain time. For example, I'm going to be studying and he's going to be making dinner. So, it's fairly possible that at 7 p.m. during the night, I will start studying and he might start preparing the dinner. Next example, when Ellen is reading, Tim will be watching TV. So, friends, please notice the parallel actions taking place in all these scenarios or situations. At the concert tomorrow, Ben will be singing with Sarah. Ben will be singing while Sarah will be dancing. At the concert tomorrow, two parallel actions are going to take place. Ben will start singing and to his song, Sarah will be dancing. Sarah will start dancing. I will be working hard next week while you will be relaxing on the beach. Tonight, they will be eating dinner, discussing their plans and having a gala time. She will be playing the piano when her parents come home. I will be sitting at the table at the corner and reading a newspaper. This time tomorrow, I will be having dinner at one of the New York's finest restaurants. The spelling of restaurants is incorrect. My apologies. Next example, Lena will be watching TV, enjoying and just wasting her time. So, the third scenario where you should use the future continuous tense, where you should use the formula subject plus will plus be going to be plus V1 plus ING plus the remaining part of the sentence is talking about parallel actions which unfold at the same time in the future. Well, we have reached the final scenario. Good going. Keep up the good work. We are talking about atmosphere in the future or you can say the situation in the future. For example, when I arrive at the party, everybody is going to be celebrating. Now, I'm wondering how would the atmosphere be when I reach the club or the party or somebody's house. I'm wondering about the atmosphere. So, now again, you already know that the situations are unfolding in the future. My arriving at the party and the atmosphere that's being made over there. Both these things are going to happen in future. So, you can imagine a person being curious about his arrival and how everybody will be reacting to his or her arrival. Alright, time for the next example. This time tomorrow, we will be sitting on a beach. I can't wait. 
the kids are very quiet they will be doing something wrong i know it a few people will be eating pizza and several are going to be drinking when i arrive in my classroom tomorrow everybody is going to be busy so you see friends in all these sentences there is a subject or a person concerned about the atmosphere of certain place that he or she might reach in such cases which tense do you use future continuous tense time for the sixth example tonight lewis will be reading some fantastic tales tonight romeo and juliet is going to be read when i arrive at the house everybody is going to be eating all right so we went through four different scenarios and good news there are only four scenarios where future continuous tense is used to describe those scenarios or situations so shall we summarize before you start asking me questions now i want you to look away from the screen i just want you to focus or maybe listen to my voice i'm going to ask you question and give you 2 seconds to recall the answer question number 1 now this is a kind of a quick summary question 1 what is the usage of future continuous tense you are right the future continuous tense is used for actions that will be unfinished at certain time in the future good job what is the definition of the future continuous tense it's more or less the same can you still formulate it i'll give you 5 seconds good job you are right future continuous tense is a tense used to express an ongoing or continued action which will occur at some time in the future all right next question to you in which four scenarios do we use the future continuous tense let me give you 5 seconds yes scenario number 1 is to express interrupted actions in future scenario number 2 is taking a time reference for interruption of actions in future scenario number 3 is parallel actions in future and scenario number 4 is to describe the atmosphere in future all right good job but did i ask you one very important question what is the formula of the sentences which are in the future continuous tense i'll give you 5 seconds yes exactly right good job it is subject plus will or be going to be form plus the base verb plus ing plus object you are a champion and finally let's just wind up the session and uh, i want you to ask me all your questions you can ask me anything in the comment section below this video for example you can ask me all your doubts related to this topic in the comment section you can give your suggestions feedback or recommendations if you think my teaching is slow if my teaching is fast if my teaching is not up to the mark or if you want to compliment please feel free to let me know in the comment section not only that if you have any other concept in your english literature or grammar that you want me to cover and make a video explanation of you want me to simplify that topic in english please let me know that topic and i will be very happy to make a video explanation for you friends i thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day ahead